Hey internet, I'm Mike Bryce, and with the release of Mario vs Donkey Kong about two weeks away, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of the game so you can determine if it's worth the $50 price tag. If you're a Mario fan, be sure to click that subscribe button for Mario themed videos and viewer interactive live streams. You can also become a channel member by hitting the join button under the video or in the description to gain access to custom emotes you can use across my videos and live streams. Anyways, without further ado, let's -a go! Wahoo! Before we take a look at the new additions that this remake adds, I just want to briefly go over what exactly Mario vs Donkey Kong is and what kind of gameplay you can expect. Unlike traditional Mario platformers, Mario vs Donkey Kong is more of a puzzle platformer. The objective is for Mario to find the best route to complete the level by hitting switches and interacting with other objects. Levels consist of finding a key to open up a door to the second half of the level. There, the player must find and collect the mini Mario toy that Donkey Kong has dropped. Once said mini Mario is collected, the level is complete. The seventh level in each world is a mini Mario level, in which Mario leads the six mini Mario toys he collected back to their toy box. However, he must make sure that they avoid obstacles along the way. This leads into the eighth level of each world, which is a boss fight with Donkey Kong. Now we're gonna go into the new additions that this remake adds. You know, the things that are meant to sell people on buying this remake of a 2004 GBA game? The first thing we have to talk about is the first thing you're going to see, and that's the gorgeous HD graphics. Of course, this is 2024, so I'd hope that any game releasing would have this. But Nintendo went above and beyond, and I can honestly say that this is one of the best looking Mario games to date. On top of that, we also have full 3D models as opposed to the pre-rendered sprites that were in the original. The second new addition is the inclusion of fully animated cutscenes, as opposed to the static images from the original. Nintendo released the intro cutscene on their YouTube channel, and if you haven't seen it yet, you have to. It looks so crisp. It is important to note that the iconic Hey, come back here, you big monkey! line seems to be absent from the game. That's it, negative five stars. This game sucks. The third new addition, and probably the most important, is the inclusion of two new worlds in the game, being Merry Miniland and Slippery Summit. These new worlds will offer extra levels and obstacles, which will help lengthen the game a bit, as the original was on the shorter side. According to Nintendo, this remake will offer over 130 levels, where the original offered around 100. The fourth new addition is the inclusion of multiplayer, where a second player can control Toad. That way if you're struggling with a level, or just want a game with a friend, you can connect the second controller and stop Donkey Kong together. It is important to note that the multiplayer is local only, meaning that there is no online multiplayer. In fact, there appears to be no online compatibility altogether, which in the year 2024 is a major con for the game. The fifth and final new addition is the new Time Attack mode. Think of it like Time Trial in Mario Kart. The objective is to beat the level as fast as you can to achieve the top time record on each specific level. So if you love speedrunning games, this mode is perfect for you. So those are all the main new additions to the remake. I think it does add enough to justify the $50 price tag, or 65 price tag for my fellow Canadians. A typical Mario game would normally cost you roughly $20 more, so it's nice that Nintendo dropped the price a bit, especially since this isn't a new game, and it is still just a remake of a 2004 GBA game. So the question remains, should you buy Mario vs Donkey Kong? Personally, I think the game is worth picking up, regardless if you played the original version or not. It's the perfect game to help you de-stress after a long day, or it's the perfect game to play after a big title like Final Fantasy. But hey, that's just my opinion. And I'm just some nerd on a YouTube video, so it's ultimately your choice. But at least now you have an idea on what to expect in the Mario vs Donkey Kong Switch Remake. 